Hello everyone, this is Ty Williams here, and this is a psychic reading on Jeanette McCurry, and she is a actress, singer-songwriter, now author on her book called I Am Glad My Mom Died. Please get the book because I have the audibles of that book. And the book is amazing. It's a page turner. It's about her life as a child star. Dealing with um, all these um, tragic things happen to her. Even personal um, eating disorders like... um, like things that she went through is just amazing now she's standing here and telling her story in this book that she just released. And all I have to say is that if you have a problem of her Jeanette book title of saying that she glad that her mom died. You don't understand what this this woman went through as a kid. And not only that, she dealing with lots of um, pedophiles and Nickelodeon and Hollywood. And speaking of um, Nickelodeon... I don't understand why the creator, you know, I'm talking about, is not arrested, not in charge. I don't know how he got away with it because I feel like there is things in this book you could you could read chapters of that she hint. What this creator did to kids, especially childhood um, favorite like Amanda Bynes, like um, Victoria Justice, like um, other kids, kids from all that, um, Jamie Lee Spears. It's just so much stuff in Nickelodeon and she just give it the huge T and and the hint on this book, especially her relationship, her mom, it just mess up. I'm just I'm just saying that just get the book, okay? So now she releases her book. Everybody's talking about it. Even I'm talking about it to you guys. And I have to do this psychic reading on her because I feel like there is more to Jeanette McCurry than Missy Odd because I feel like she's holding a lot of childhood traumas and not only childhood trauma but dealing of being famous at a young age, especially she doesn't want fame and she doesn't want to be put in the movie strain or in the TV strain. She just want to be just like a normal kid who just want to live a normal and private life. And I feel like she is a very private person while I was listening to her memoir of her book. So before I do this psychic reading on Jeanette McCurry, I always say this. This is entertainment purpose only. Take it as what you feel or what you think, but don't take it as facts. Don't take it as evident. Just take it as it is, period, okay? Okay. So let me begin with Jeanette McCurry. Jeanette 
McCurry is born on June 26, 1992. That make her a cancer sign. It explains everything about how she is as a child. Very shy, um, very observant, very um, intuitive. Like she could read energy. She could read um, people's moves. And also I feel like she's an empath as well. Like she's very empathic. Like she could pick up people's energy. Like in an instance, because I got that um, she's she's unlocking her psychic powers and her psychic ability on certain things in her life. She's questioned about um, religion a lot and spirituality. I feel like she is very deep into her knowledge and her knowledge in her life and also through experience i feel like she's very helpful and understanding as well i feel like she is lovable that's why i pick up she's very lovable she's very down to earth she's very real uh she's straight to the point um she very details on certain things in her life um i could see her writing lots of books like especially fiction fiction books that related to her life as a child star as a teen star um she got lots of people wanting to work with her in TV, like lots of people want her to be in movies. Like she got lots of opportunity because people see her as a star, and she always a star. And I think that's I think that's the reason why her mom is very jealous and envious of her because she got this ability to make people just like her. And that's a gift. Like, there are not too many people who have this ability to be likable. I know it sounds, um, self-centered and cliche, but it's the truth. It's like, you cannot hate her, hate her for a long time. Like, you know how, like, people have that lovable energy about them that it, it's like you try to hate on them and try to be jealous of them but you couldn't because they're just so likable and that is Jeanette you know and Jeanette got that energy that you could talk to her about anything but however she's very boundary a boundary type of woman you know what I mean she's very into her boundaries she, like like she could be an open book but not to a extent it's like she doesn't want people to be in her personal business and especially she doesn't like to be in the public eye since the stuff that she went through as a child, um, like her eating disorder, her anxiety, her social, her social society, because her mom, because I feel like her mom sheltered her from having an actual human connection. And I think that's the way she's very into her boundaries or not letting people in till she felt comfortable that's what I'm getting with um Jeanette so what I'm seeing with Jeanette is that 
she didn't grow up with a civil spoon in her mouth. She just uh, a girl who was, I would say, a working class family who got very emotional issues like dealing with some unsettling um, S.A. You know what that means? S.A. Um, she in, in her household uh, between her mom or her brothers and things going out in the, in the house that she doesn't want to talk about yet. But I feel like she did talk about one one with her mom and I feel like there's another um traumatic incident about her mom was a manager and I think I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say because I saw it and I gag and I figured something to do with the mom and the producer I will say, and I feel like the producer is friends with the creator, and and the mom just didn't do nothing about it, and I think that breaks her down, and I think it's the reason why she doesn't want to put it in the book because I feel like she's holding stuff in about the things she witnessed and experienced in Nickelodeon and in Hollywood. And I, I'm going to say Hollywood because there is more to Hollywood than meets the eye. There's some dark stuff in Hollywood. So, okay, I feel like she's letting go of lots of anger and fear in her life currently. Um, she's still dealing with some issues about loneliness in the romantic setting. I feel like she date here and there. I don't know if she got she got a boyfriend or not, but I feel like when she get into a relationship, she is not really intimate like that she's more of like a loner like like she just she feels like no one doesn't understand her but her and she really want that companionship was with, with a guy that gets her that understand her that nurture her that understand um her psych her cycle her psych it's like her psyche I'm my bad like her psyche like someone who's kinda like a healer and a funny enough she is like a healer because I feel like healers and empath attract narcissist people and her mom was a narcissist that trying to drain her energy to the point that caused her having issues with her self-worth. And she's struggling with that. And she is struggling of healing so much scars of it. I feel like she's making a lot of money. Currently, a lot of endorsement deals. Hollywood is just open, open arm to her because they see that she's very smart. She's very talented. She's like a natural comedian when it comes to acting. Um, I would not be surprised that she will do stand-up comedy or just comedy in general because she's a natural in it. But I feel like right now she doesn't 
want to be famous at all. She doesn't want to be in the limelight. But I feel like there are other people who know her, work with her, are begging her to just work with them and like project like a movie or a, or a TV deal. And speaking of a TV deal, I feel like Hulu, Netflix, um, other major network is trying to reach out to her. And trying to offer her huge money, big money about her book. I feel like they're, I feel like they're gonna do a series about her life, her life story as a child star, and I feel like she's kind of hesitating about it. But I feel like she just want to see who will offer her. A good deal. Because what I'm seeing right now. Is that. She doesn't really care about the money. It's more of like. She want. A safer. Secure. And healthy environment. And I don't blame her. Okay. I don't blame her one bit. And I feel like whatever comeback she gonna do in tvs or in me or in movies she gonna be a star she gonna be like the comeback kid okay definitely and also i feel like there is a water sign and i know who the water sign is it's trying to reach out to her or apologize to her or trying to get closure with her I, i'm gonna say it this is ariana grande and i feel like ariana grande gonna remain gonna rekindle their friendship or their relationship and i feel like ariana, ariana gonna grande gonna tell her something that freaks her out you know that shock her and I feel like everybody got a story to tell you know like Jenny McCarthy was very jealous of Ana Grande because she came from a wealthy home uh she was beautiful she was talented um all celebrities want to work with her and she got it all but once she meets ariana grande for a long time and catch up and talk it, it gave both of them a eye opener from each other. Like, oh my goodness, we was kids, you know. And people don't understand, like, when we are kids, we are still immature, you know. Like, emotionally and mentally, we, 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 we immature for our age. And I feel like these two will talk and look back like I didn't know that you go through this or I didn't know that you go through that and I feel like both of them have the same birthdays and have similar backgrounds and both of them gonna see each other like oh my goodness we was we, we, we are like twins but we are the opposite and so I see Ariana Grande and her will break the hatchet and just talk about the, the abuse they suffer by this person. You know what I'm talking about, okay? I don't understand why the creator is still not in jail. Point blank period. Not only creator, but the team as well. So... 
I get a air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, going to come forward about the issue that happened to them under Nickelodeon. I feel like Jeanette opened the cans of worms about these producers in Hollywood about what is what it's like to be a child star and things like that and congrats towards her because she is helping other um Nickelodeon kids Disney star kids celebrities who in a who in a similar situation to her when it comes to mom managers or dad managers or producers or cast members they're gonna come out with their own memoir and their own thing about dumb okay because i feel like there are lots of people coming forward about their experiences about what happened to them in their life and the, and the things that people talk about is alarming okay so i got your secret exposed for the world to see is her book cyberbullying reverse there are lots of people are helping her i feel like there are lots of fans iCarly fans like the power of the in internet that give it that they are collecting evidence about the creator wow oh wow about a sex scandal okay i got dui reverse it could be the creator the dealing with a dui um about drug abuse in the industry or in nickelodeon about the creator i don't want to put it out there i'm getting that um the creator that jenna mccarth mccarth jenna mccurry um There are some drugs around children while she was working at Nickelodeon. Like Dape R A P E drugs. Let me repeat that. R A P E drug date drugs I'm, I'm just gonna just say it right there and i feel like the creator is spiking these children drinks there are lots of people's coming forward um about this like i feel like lots of girls of nickelodeon like top girls like um people from iCarly people from all that people who else drake and drake other Nickelodeon shows okay and I feel like Jeanette is keeping it calm in the situation about people coming forward and people saying their stories and I believe there is a ve investigation I feel like she will be calm in a situation that gonna 
going to explode. A situation that make people like, oh my goodness, I did not know this go down. But yes, it is. It go down. And this related to a evil secret society are coming after her because of these celebrities, of these people who saying their stories about Hollywood and about Nickelodeon and Disney. And I feel like she is really calm about the situation because she's very careful not to say anything to revealing. She's very smart. Because once she said, this is what I'm picking up, once she said something that exposed that big star that we once worship and analyze, they will come after her or a, a producer because she witnessed a lots of things in Hollywood, you guys. And I would say the Illuminati, I feel like the Illuminati, the Freemasons are watching her to the T. And I understand why she wants out. I understand why she doesn't want to be there. And not only that, I feel like she deal with a lot of her religious background. She's a Mormon, in case you didn't know. And I feel like there are lots of Mormon um, dark secrets in there too. So it's like she's kind of being very careful with her words and with her actions. Okay, and I do see that there are lots of people is helping her to get that crater down. Lots of people. Like put a case on her case because um, what I do see, um, there is this um, insider on Twitter got files of her hush, hush money case and they're going to be on Twitter or Facebook or social media and people are going to be very upset about it that this creator is a his creator and his wife mind you the creator got a wife and this wife is sick as well and you wonder why they don't have no kids. Sickos. But as for um, Jeanette, I do see her. She is making money moves. And I feel like if she do come back to iCardi Reboot, everybody going to lose their ish, okay? Because... Sam was an amazing character in iCarly, okay? Sam was that chick that she is bold, she is loud, she doesn't care what anybody thinks. She just do her thing and take charge and just be her own boss. And she just break bullies down and... She's just an amazing character. And for her to come back in iCarly and like in a different mature Sam, like like I, I could see Sam like the older Sam and the reboot iCarly be more um bad as but mature, you know, like she's very mature. Like she, she doesn't fight no more. She's not like the the Sam that we love. But she changed her ways a bit. I could see her 
being that, you know, more like calm and collective sand without the food and all that stuff, like a simple change, you know, I like to see. But um, if she does go to the reboot, I could see that. But other than that, I feel like she is taking a lot of opportunities in her way. I, I'm, I'm just, she's, she's happy right now. That's what I pick up. Despite she got her hiccups of her ED or her anxiety and sometimes her depression, but she's still happy. And I do believe in God. I'm going to say that. I, I, I'm a firm believer in God. I'm a firm believer in karma. I'm a firm believer of what goes around, comes around, and the universe. And I feel like her mom was not a good mom, period. And I feel like God kind of like took her out, took her mom out to save her. Because to think about it. If her mom will be alive, I could see her, God forbid, passing away. Like either what child star go through, like some child some child stars commit suicide, overdose, um, mental breakdowns that lead to their death so it's like I it's like God came through to her and just like you don't have to suffer no more you know I believe that Jeanette McCurry is God's child anyway and not only God's child I feel like she is definitely a healer and I feel that she will help a lot of people in her life without the fame or the fortune, but help the average Joe about dealing with a narcissist, toxic mom, or her life dealing with AED or other mental issues or like life, because I feel like she is a great storyteller and a great healer and a, and a great understander. Like she understands people because she's an empath. That's what I pick up with her. So that is what I got with Jeanette Curry. And I hope that she will get justice, and I have a feeling she's going to get justice because there are lots of people is supportive for her and fighting for her because she helped a lot of people to speak up about their abuse, okay? She helped people to understand, like, abuse is not love. When a mother abuses you, is not love okay and she just set the tone on that in her book and people have to read the book to understand why she put that in the title anyway because if you read her book it's lots of things that make you think that a mom can be really dangerous to their own child than the father. You know, like the fathers and the baby fathers get the, get a huge, a huge big slap over abusing their kid. But when it comes to the mother, no one not saying anything about it. Like everybody brainwashed to think like she's your mom she's your mom she's your only mom yes she's she's she is my only mom or her only mom but her mom 
was the monster in her story. She's like the Cinderella of her story. Like her, she, Jeanette did everything for her mom's love. Okay. She was not a bad kid. She want the best for her mom. She want her mom's attention. And her mom took advantage of it. And not only took advantage of it, but she just, she, I feel like her mom doesn't care. Like her mom see it as, I want my way and that's it. And even her grandmother, like it's something wrong with the grandmother too that she doesn't really talk about. But I kind of understand why her mom act the way she is because because of the grandmother. It's kind of like we know that our moms is toxic and mess up, but we kind of it's like Stockholm syndrome, to be honest with you. Like we all do that with our mother. It's like we know our mom messed up and abuse it, but we have to tolerate it because she's our mom. But that's the issue, is that we have to be more vocal of our families about abuse. Because abuse is not okay. Abuse is not love. You could walk away, you know, but some of us couldn't couldn't because it's Stockholm Syndrome. Because we worry about what happened, what going to happen to our mom if we leave them. We all went through that. Even Jeanette say in her book that, that sometimes she feel guilty of the thing she did of her mom not want her to do the things she did, you know, but anyway, so this is a psychic reading from Jeanette, from me, <laughs> my bad, I I have a long day, but anyway, this is Ty Williams, good day and goodbye.